Welcome back. Today we are looking at the one and only Trek Farley 9.6. So this is the high-end carbon fiber fat bike. The fat bikes have grown in popularity over the years more and more and the carbon ones are becoming more and more popular every year too, shaving off a lot of weight going to that carbon frame. Now this does not have any option for front suspension, it is strictly a carbon fiber front fork, but we've seen some minor changes to it where they've added a lot more rack mounting to it, and even some unique ones on the very front of it for what I assume is a similar rack to the 1120 Adventure bike, although it doesn't specify exactly what that rack is for. Overall, this is called Lava. The color is really sharp looking. It has some weird kind of matte sections on it with a bit of texture. I'm not sure if it's the coolest feature on it because it's either not enough or it should have more, you know. But overall, it looks really, really good. This one here has obviously SRAM's 12-speed GX drivetrain to it, so it's going to perform pretty darn well. Let's be honest, that's a go-to workhorse of a shifting. It's going to perform well, it's affordable-ish, and overall, nobody really has any complaints with it in general, apart from difference in feel from Shimano's setup. These ones have a huge 4.5 inch wide tire. You'll be able to float over things. These are the Barbagazzi, so it is not the beefiest of treading. There is no studability option to it. This is a faster rolling tire, so whether you're commuting or on the trail specifically, you'll be able to roll a lot faster, although you'll lack in a teeny bit of traction in the more less tractionable areas. And then without any studying options, if this is a true winter bike, you may end up, and a true commuter winter bike, you may end up adding that studded option. Really depends on the winter, whether it's a really high ICA or not. They have a Transect dropper post on it, 130 mils travel, works well. Obviously with the smaller sizes, you don't get the full range of that, but Transex has definitely got better over the years. It's going to perform very, very well. You just throw around on top of the handlebar power. There's not much to talk about these for bikes. They have the ESI grips on them. Overall, it's nice. Obviously, all through axles. Sunringle mule foot, ADSL rims, so lightweight. All tubeless ready, but they did not come tubeless. Again, in the winter, you're going to risk tubeless fluid freezing. It might not be as beneficial to you. In the summer, it will obviously be nice. Everything is SRAM parts in the in-betweens. It all matches. It all looks clean. Really, you're just looking at more racking options on the carbon fiber frame than ever. And the fact that they are now going to a new color. No big geometry changes. Everything's pretty much the same that way. It's a nice bike. It comes in at 28.91 pounds or 13.11 kilograms. And that's pretty solid for a bike with four and a half inch wide, 27 and a half inch tires. That is a fairly lightweight bike. That frame really weighs nothing. And I will be interested to see what additional racks and mounts they're gonna come out with with that four piece. I assume it will be announced when they announce the 2023 slash 2024 Farleys. But until then, we'll just have to keep looking at this one and it's sharp looking design. No major changes but I don't think it was really needed. All right, enjoy looking at it. It's a nice bike. And thanks for watching. This was a short video. Not much to talk about on the Farleys, but people like them. Have a good one.